Hello YouTube. This is a spare tire carrier off a 2004 Chevy Avalanche. It also comes off of uh, 2004 through 2014 Avalanches, Suburbans, Tahoes, Yukons, Yukon XLs, and uh, Cadillac Escalades. So used on not a lot of vehicles, but uh, they're difficult to find. Uh, in a junkyard so uh, this one went out on me the other day I tried to I was changing the diff fluid in my avalanche and I went to lower the spare tire and it wouldn't come out and what I found I went online and everybody said oh your problem is is this little safety catch as you can see mine's working just fine but a lot of times they'll get rusted up and won't want to come off well that wasn't my problem because this safety catch was actually already outside of the tube in here where where, where it will catch <coughs> so I tried finding one at a junkyard uh, like I said not much luck there I called around to a couple other places that'll pull the part and uh, they wanted 60 to 80 dollars they wanted 90 to 150 dollars for a brand new one online and uh, I just thought that was a little pricey so I decided I was going to try to fix it myself so what I did was I ground off there's two pins down here and then there's five up here those five there and then you grind this one down and that's a uh, that's something that holds a, a cam bolt or some kind of cam in there inside the mechanism. So did all that, punched them out with a screwdriver, and then I pulled this off. Oops, because it's stuck right there. Pulled this off. And uh everything seems to be in pretty good shape when I pulled it apart originally there wasn't much grease in there as you can see I went ahead and greased everything up because I wanted to see if this was going to work before I made this video so I didn't look like an idiot so when this part comes off you can see it's kind of a concentric cam mechanism that's how it works and you can see right here, this holds this. And what it does is when this when this part spins, it'll raise that cable and lower it. And then it it just kind of glides on that. I think there may have been something wrong here but I'm not exactly sure what so uh so yeah I just like I said we'll pull this back apart all the way so you got that mechanism and that there's a sprocket that goes all the way through it and then this is your pulley that your cable is held on by so and then it's just there's a little latch here I'm guessing that's what was clicking when uh, I was trying to take my spare tire off the other day have to worry about getting it in the proper place so it's a pretty simple mechanism really uh, so we put that in there 
and make sure we get this. Cam. Make sure that's in there to where that's not going to move. It wants to, it'll just slide. We'll pivot to an extent. And then put our top piece in. Make sure that gets seated in there. And uh, we put it back together. And then what I did, I just went to the hardware store and bought bolts. I bought five inch and a half, five sixteenths bolts, and then two two and a half by five sixteenths bolts. Uh, I got stainless steel. Uh, you probably really don't have to because it's pretty well protected. It's up under the, the frame pretty good and it's pretty well protected by the tire. So it's not going to get a lot of uh, road, road debris and salt and sand wherever you may live. So the two and a half inch bolts go down to these two holes and then the inch and a half bolts go to these. Uh, you could probably go with quarter inch bolts, uh, although the quarter inch bolts are, are pretty small. Uh, I like the beefier ones. The quarter inch bolts will fit in there. Uh, they'll be a little loose. So I did opt for the 5 16 bolts. All of this, I bought the bolts, the nuts, lock washers and regular washers, lock washers and regular washers. Uh, all that in stainless steel cost me about $10. So you could probably do this for maybe less than five if you bought regular bolts. Uh, like I said, that's completely up to you uh, how you want to do that. So, But in order to get those 5 16 bolts in there, I am going to have to drill these out a little bit. Which shouldn't be a big deal because uh, they go all the way through and I'm not drilling them out that much less than a sixteenth is what I'm taking out. So uh, then get that put back together it should be good to go. So hope this information is helpful. Uh, this is the only video I know of about this. Uh, these mechanisms, uh, like I said, the vehicles they fit on, they do, there's a similar mechanism for the uh, Silverado and Sierra pickups, uh, I believe their their uh, little mechanism here is actually down lower. This is where it mounts up under the frame, and this distance on this one is shorter than on the Silverados. This is down a little further on the Silverados, and that's just I don't know. I guess the mounting brackets and what they had to go through. So. Uh, hope this helps anybody out there. Uh, if it does, leave me a comment. Thank you. Bye.